that. This is why I don't tell you guys about myself. Can we please talk about something else? No! If you don't jump that ravine right now, I'm gonna tell you about the time that Celestia made me smother her pet bird to death. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. <laughs> she took me into a room and she handed me a pillow. No, no, I don't want to hear this. And then she made me hold it over her pet bird's face until it burst into flames and turned into ashes. And then Celestia, she leans right down next to me and she whispers into my ear, I guess you owe me now. And then, and then there was the time. Stop, this is scaring me. Scaring you? And then, I used to have this little toy named Mrs. Buzzy. She was a stuffed bumblebee. And one day when I was having a tea party, Celestia came, and she pulled out all of Mrs. Buzzy's stuffing, and she filled her full of sliced bread, and she said, There, Mrs. Buzzy isn't real. And no. then, she told me to write a 300-page essay explaining what that proved, and I didn't know. <laughs> hey, did we pack any scotch, or whiskey, or paint thinner? Darling, I would give just about anything if you could hop over here right now. So I sewed up the wound, thinking in my childlike naivete that I'd successfully completed the surgery. However, about a day later I was appalled to discover that I'd punctured an intestine, and that the patient was becoming septic. I tried to go back and correct the mistake, but that's when I learned my first lesson about proper procedures. I hadn't shaved the surgical area, and as a result some hair got in the patient's wound. The consequence was an allergic reaction that caused inflammation, and that only complicated the issue. Afterward, long story short, Celestia explained to me that's why I couldn't keep the puppy. Also, it died. So alright. Horrible stories? Check. The happy ending is that these days I could perform that kind of surgery blindfolded and with my bare hooves. Twy, your childhood is kind of terrible. How do y'all tell a story like that and then just go around smiling and, and acting like nothing's the matter? Well, it's easy. I just think of something funny, like a blind pony in a wheelchair. How is that supposed to be funny? Well, Celestia had a lot of comedians in her dungeons. Shut up, Applejack. This is why I don't ask Twilight about herself. If you keep picking at it, then sooner or later she's going to get out the alcohol and then things are just going to go downhill from there. Actually, that sounds alright. Let's just get out the alcohol and let things go downhill. Oh. Well, okay. Twilight, tell us about Mrs. Buzzy again. I don't want to talk about Mrs. Buzzy. Well, we're your guest, and we want you to have a mental breakdown. But I don't want to have a mental breakdown. I'm doing an assignment. And I'd have a mental breakdown for you. You would not! I would, too. Does Twilight really have to have a mental breakdown in order for us to drink together? I'm not sharing my liquor with you! 